Hello, I'm Randy here working out the garage here again. Today on the new to me garage door I installed here a couple of weeks ago and we're gonna be attempting to put a deadbolt in this door. Now this is a, a steel door here, so that should make things uh, interesting. Uh, so considering that, I bought this uh, DeWalt kit here. They're not super expensive and I'm hoping that'll make the job of installing this uh, this deadbolt here relatively easy. Now, one thing I noticed, I mean, if you look at the alignment here, it's a little something that's got me concerned. Yeah, this... Uh, this here lines up, uh, I guess we'll see once how that's gonna work. I know uh, I know you can have different distances, Evan, so I'm hoping the shorter distance will work. I guess we'll find out. I don't know until we actually like get into this and uh, see once what our distances are. I haven't measured anything yet. Uh, I figure worst case, Evan, I mean, it'd look a little stupid, but we could put it below it, right? What's the, uh, you know, that's, that's how, how big of a sin is that? Okay, Kevin, here's what the uh, kit consists of. You have the uh, clamp that goes on the door here, and that has all the holes in it based on where you need to drill them. And uh, these pieces here, you can be interchanged depending on whether you want a uh, two and three ace or it's uh, two and three quarters. If you flip that piece around, so you just pop it out, flip it around. Uh, same thing with this piece as well. And depending on the thickness of your door, either again, it's set at one and three quarters. I think it's one and three ace, I think is the other one, if I remember correctly. Also, here's your directions. I mean, <laughs> wow. I, I think DeWalt knew something here that we wouldn't be listening to the directions. So here's what you got. Setup guide to proper bath, back set and door thickness. Mark height on door, clamp guide, drill, install door lock. Now that's my kind of directions. I don't know about you folks. I, I'm liking that. Uh, the one thing I maybe don't like about that is it just comes with this uh, mandrel here for the hole saws. And I'm like, well, uh, that's maybe okay for this one, everyone, for the little ones. But with the bigger ones, I like using uh, this style. So I was like, you know what? I'll just grab my uh, good one here and I'll just put this on here. Well, yeah, that doesn't work because the hole in here is too small. And then even if it did screw in, everyone, the pin locations are too wide. So I, I don't know. That's... Maybe one thing, if I had to pick this kit apart of it, I don't like that. I wish they would have at least lined up with a standard mandrel. I don't know, is, is that a DeWalt thing, Evan, where DeWalt's hole saws don't line up with standard mandrels? I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's got a smaller thread on it, which I, I would expect for that one. I mean, that, that is expected, but, and I guess that's probably why they do that, so that this will fit with that one, and oh well. It'd just be nice if I could use the more heavy-duty locking style for the large one. So anyway, uh, I think we're gonna get this clamp to the door, and let's start drilling. Okay, Kevin, looks like we've ran into our first problem here. Yeah, I kind of wondered about that. This is not going to clear that. So I'm wondering how hard it would be to take this off here. I see screws all the way around. I think I'm going to try taking this trim off here a minute. See what's if I can get this jig on. Looks like the current one here, by the way, the back set is set to two and I think it's two and three quarters, right? I believe that is the uh, dimension there. This one here, though, I'm probably going to set it to two and three eighths. I know it might look a little weird of it, but I've got to clear this trim here, so... I don't know how else to do it if I don't set it back to the two and three eighths instead of the two and three quarters. Okay, we got the uh, trim piece off. Looks like this might be also what holds the glass in. I cannot get the glass to come out though. So hopefully like while I'm drilling this, it doesn't like rattle something loose and decide to uh, fall out. That would not be a good thing. Also, I noticed down here, I was pulling on this. Yeah, the glass pane has started to uh, separate here. I forgot about that. I think that's one of the reasons uh, my parents replaced this door as well, that this uh, glass here fogs up really bad. And that's probably why, because if you look down here, it has uh, separated. Uh, I presume it, I mean, it's two panes of glass. Yeah, two panes of glass here. And then they fill it, is it argon or something? I don't know, what, whatever they fill that with. I mean, they fill it with something inside there. And uh, yeah, obviously that's uh, that's no longer a thing. That's just open to the regular air. So anyway, we're going to see once if we can uh, drill this here now. Let me get the whole saw set up and we'll start drilling. Got the hole drilled enough to say that turned out really nicely. Also nice having that the hole saw is actually deep enough. I know most hole saws are not deep enough, you know, to go all the way through the door in one pass. You have to drill this side, go around to that side, which I actually did think about trying to do, Evan, but you cannot actually do that with this because this handle is in the way right here. You can't actually get in there, so I had to drill it off on that side because I was wondering if it would, like, blow this side out a little bit. But looks like it uh, 
looks like it actually cut really nicely, so I'm happy with that. Now, fun part of it is we need to get this off, and we'll switch out to the, I forget how, is that a one-inch hole saw? I think it's a one-inch hole saw, and we'll, uh, we'll drill the lock hole. Okay, I've been trying to get this off here, but then this will not come off, at least by hand. That is why I was trying to use my other mandrel there that actually locks into the pins there. That way you just back the pins out, and you don't have to worry about this getting super tight on here. This is apparently quite tight on here, plus it has all that in there. And yeah, I'm going to have to get a pliers or something, because like I said, I cannot turn that. So one, if I had to pick one downside to this setup, everyone, that is that right there. They don't have the proper mandrel for that size of hole saw. Well, I'm definitely not impressed with this uh, hole saw here. I just spent like the last uh, five minutes trying to uh, pry and prod that uh, wood and that steel sheet metal piece that was in there out. That took forever, and it just did not want to come out of that hole saw. My goodness. And again, I'm used to the other style where you just um, take the pins out, twist it off. Usually, I don't have too much problem popping it out, but that one, that did not want to come out of there. Anyway. We're going to start with a one-inch hole now. We'll drill that, and it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's already in the wood. I mean, so all we need to drill, yeah, it's actually already in there. See it right there, bud? So we already got the hole, so we just need to, I don't know if we can just pop that out or if we need to drill. I'm probably going to try drilling it just so it's hopefully nice and clean. But then that part's already been drilled for us, right, which I find kind of interesting. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Looks like it actually goes back. Oh, yeah, it actually goes back inside there, too. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yep, it goes back inside there. Interesting. I gotta say, I think that's one of the uh, nicest holes I've drilled in a door before. Nice and centered all the way through. And in fact, if you look at this, we've got it so centered on there, you can see the plastic tabs. I don't know if those are already in there or we drilled through them. I'm not sure, but that, uh, and actually this was plastic too. I thought this was steel of them, but no, that's just uh, plastic in there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna have to come out or not. We'll find out. And uh, speaking of the uh, lock, by the way, this is what we're planning on installing, a uh, smart lock here. Uh, yeah, quick set, smart coat, so we're going to get that installed here in a minute. Should go fairly easily, hopefully. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about here, though, is our clearance here. Hopefully that will be okay. We'll find out.
Okay, well, I think that's going to do it here for this uh, video. I bought this uh, lock used, and unfortunately, I mean, it looks like uh, whoever sold it used here did not include the uh, battery cover here for this. That's kind of annoying. They also didn't include a lot of the other hardware and screws with this either, so I had to uh, cobble together some screws I had from some various other uh, door locks, but uh, luckily, I had enough uh, hardware. Uh, this is just a, a keypad here, by the way, on this one, so... Yeah, got it all uh, programmed. It's kind of nice because I mean, it does have an auto lock feature and there's some other uh, features as, with it as well. You get like into the programming mode and I definitely had to follow the directions. That's uh, for sure, uh, programming that one. So anyway, uh, with that one, I think that's going to wrap it up here for this door. It's nice finally actually having an actual door with a knob that you can open from the outside and it like has a nice proper lock on it as well. But I've actually used it a couple of times here now already, so... I see it looks like there's some light coming. Oh, well, big deal. I mean, the, the, the old door literally, no, oh, yeah, there's the old door one. So it had no seal on it at all. So this is like uh, 20 times better than the old one was. Anyway, with that, one, thanks for watching. Uh, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And until next time.